Welcome to the boating adventure. This is the third and final video of our journey of taking the Swamp Duck from Syston and taking it up to the uh, Ashby Canal to Trinity Marina. This uh, video begins at the bottom of Foxton Locks, so do enjoy. Well, a very good morning to you. It's early for us. It's uh, 8.20 and uh, we are in the second lock of the Foxton flight, all uh, 10 locks. So we've got uh, another eight after this one. Uh, I walked up to the uh, top lock this morning to find the uh, lock keepers who were on duty and uh, there was nobody else waiting to come up and just one boat on his way down. So we're going to swap over in the middle pound, which is what we're supposed to do, which we weren't allowed to do at the time before we came up here. Less said about that, the better. Uh, must be a different team on today. Um, so we should be up within about half an hour and then we can stop and we can get up properly and have breakfast and sort the boat out and that kind of thing. I'm not going to film all of uh, going up the lock here, not from the boat anyway, because you just can't really see anything other than some very tall lock gates. So we'll catch you at the top. <laughs> And just like that, it's uh, two minutes past nine and we're just uh, going up the very last lock of the 10. So that's very good progress. So we're gonna moor up somewhere at the top and uh, sort ourselves out. So a big thank you to the staff at uh, Foxton Locks uh, I think they've redeemed themselves today. It's like any organisation, you have one bad apple and it can uh, give the whole uh, organisation a bad reputation, but it's been saved today. So thank you CRT volunteers.
Okay, so we uh, we just stopped off at uh, North Kilworth uh, Wharf, uh, and just up from the, the wharf, there's a, a, um, a garage. So I managed to get Bertie the bike into action and uh, cycled up to the garage. Um, I needed um, a fuse. Uh, we blew a fuse the other day. It wasn't him getting irate or anything like that. It's just that uh, the fuse went on the uh, galley lights. So uh, we were having to use the battery lights that we've got. So just on the off chance, there happened to be a garage next door uh, changing tyres. So nothing ventured, nothing gained. I went in, have you got one of these? And uh, the chap opened this drawer and it was absolutely full of all sorts of odds and ends of um, fuses that I've obviously collected over the years. So it's kind of like, have a sort through that mate, see what you can find. And I found a, a suitable fuse. So we've now got lights again. So thank you to that uh, uh, tyre changing place at North Kilworth. And you got it for free. And, yeah, they didn't charge me anything. It's like, yeah, you're right mate. <laughs> so, yeah, so thank you very much. That was brilliant. So we've also rung up um, Crick Marina and uh, we're okay to stay the night there. So we're just heading there now, so a couple of hours and uh, we should be there. Alright Governor? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah sorry. I was so we've got Steve in the, in the hot seat, he can do the driving now because he's done nothing all day. So he can do that. I made up for it yesterday and the day before. Well, a good afternoon to you. It's uh, 15.51 and we've now arrived at uh, Crick Marina and we're on yet another alternative mooring because uh, this is another one that we've uh, uh, had before. Uh, this is about the third or fourth time we've been to Crick Marina and uh, this is the second time, I think, on this mooring. So it's uh, off for a shower, I think. Or a cup of tea first, by the look of it. Okay, so for tonight's tea, we're having deconstructed cottage pie. <laughs> Basically, I did some uh, minced beef with some onions and 
it's got cabbage in actually and carrots and, and then I put some uh, potatoes in so it's all been cooked through and then I vacuum sealed it and froze it and it's been in the fridge on the boat so it's kept nice and cool and then I've just added a tin of uh, garden peas so this is uh, deconstructed cottage pie and uh, garden peas there's no um, cheese on top sorry <laughs> I couldn't do that bit so our deconstructed cottage pie is followed by Steve's whiskey ginger and fruit cake served on a paper doily or is it a piece of torn kitchen paper <laughs> Well, a very good morning to you. It's uh, Friday the 20th of September 2024 and it's uh, 7.35 and we've uh, set off from Crick Marina. And so the next thing we're going to do is go through the Crick Tunnel and then hopefully try and arrive at the top of Watford Locks for around about 8 o'clock when they open <laughs> and then hopefully we can get um, a passage down the seven locks I think there are. And then we're going to go uh, turn right at the next junction and we're going to go down to the Braunston Locks. So come and join us. So we've arrived at the uh, top of the Watford Locks and there are lock keepers on. So we're just waiting for the top lock to refill and then we can go in. We are fast approaching the Braunston Tunnel which has a two-way traffic and it's 1.164 miles long and it's going to take us about 20 minutes to go through it.
so we're into a complete darkness we can't see anything of the other end yet but we know there are boats coming towards us because we saw lights as we entered the tunnel if we change the exposure we can just make out the sides of the tunnel and its shape and we can quite clearly see in front of us the tunnel lights of boats coming towards us The tunnel isn't completely straight, so at the moment we still can't see the exit.
So we're now at the uh, top uh, Braunston lock. We're causing a little bit of a kerfuffle because uh, uh, I won't go, I won't share a lock with any anybody on these. Um, they're just not safe. And it's not safe for us to share a lock with a narrowboat on these particular locks. And it's nothing personal, it's just that um, we need to be near the lock ladder so that if anything happens we can at least exit the boat. <coughs> it's a little bit better for a narrow boat because they can actually stand on their roof and they can probably climb out of the lock but we can't. So we're reliant on the lock ladder which tends to be right in the middle of the lock which means we've got to moor right in the middle of a narrow boat so if it drifts we are um, squashed either that or we have to go right to the back of the lock which is what happened last time and then we run the risk of um, the going onto the sill or alternatively we run the risk of the boat being flooded from the water coming in from the back gates because they are very leaky so that's the problem we just want to do it on our own in safety. Thank you very much, people.
Phew, that was hard work. Thank goodness we've come across the Gongoozler's Rest Cafe Boat. Well, it just has to be done. Okay, so it's now uh, 14.20 and uh, we've uh, passed through the village of Braunston. Had to stop off at the, uh, the, the uh, cafe boat there, that was brilliant. Uh, and we're now just uh, taking a slow meander towards home mooring really. We're not, uh, not sure how far we're going to get today, but when we've had enough we can just uh, moor up and do the rest tomorrow. Yeah, the sun's come out now, it's uh, quite a nice day. Very, very windy. Yeah, it is, very, wi very it is windy. Steve's um, having to uh, hang on to the steering wheel a little bit. But I'm just having a rest because I've been so busy this morning uh, doing all of the locks. Doing nothing. So this is us moored up for tonight. Uh, we're between bridges 32 and 34 on the North Oxford Canal. It's uh, quite a straight piece of uh, canal this and it's uh, very popular with the uh, continuous moorers. You very often see the same uh, boats moored down here quite a lot. But we managed to find a little space on the end here where tomorrow morning we might get a little bit of uh, a solar because uh, just over there that is to the sort of northeast so when the sun comes up we might, if it comes up <laughs> we might get uh, some solar I have put the uh, generator on for an hour tonight just to uh, top the batteries up again but other than that I think everything is uh, okay and uh, by tomorrow afternoon we should be at Trinity Marina Good morning to you. It is Saturday the 21st of September 2024 and this is the last leg of our uh, trip taking the engine for its uh, annual service and getting the boat anti-fouled. So it's been about uh, five days so far bringing it back. It took us eight days to get it there. So and that included the rail journeys but I think it's going to take us six we should be back at the marina today and then tomorrow we'll travel back up on the train to Derby, so uh, six days. So we're just going through the uh, Rinklo uh, cutting where they had the landslip. I'm not going to film that again but it hasn't really changed in any way. It's just dried out. Well, a good afternoon to you. It's uh, 16.45 on Saturday the 21st of September 2024 and I can say that this swamp duck has landed. <laughs> it's not been a very pleasant trip uh, today. We've had a couple of uh, engine problems uh, with it overheating. We must have picked up some muck somewhere along the line and uh, it just kept sounding the alarm. I ended up having to ring L.R. Harris who gave us some excellent advice to sort it out and uh, we managed to get it going so that was brilliant. And uh, then uh, the heavens have opened, it, we had the thunderstorms on the way up in Ashby Canal and they're carrying on now. <laughs> so we're going to get ourselves sorted and then we're going to go and get some tea at the local pub and then we might have a night on the tiles. So I hope you've enjoyed this uh, video. Uh, if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel then please consider doing so, it's completely free and it's a great encouragement to us to continue making these videos. So I'd like to thank you for all your support 
and as always do take care